Well, good morning everyone. Happy Saturday. Welcome back. We had heavy showers producing some decent lightning, actually some very, very small hail. Plenty of heavy rain. We picked up that onward about 10 p.m. up until about 4 in the morning. All those showers and storms moving out of here. Even some clouds decreasing, but as the showers and storms move out, Fog is actually increasing across the state lines. We do have patchy fog. We picked up a tenth of an inch in Rochelle, Rockford, DeKalb, three tenths of an inch, Monroe, four tenths, Freeport, two. Savannah just sitting at probably one of the lower amounts across the state line, seven hundredths of an inch of rain there. But like I mentioned, patchy fog, some of that was actually dense about a half an hour ago. Now we're seeing visibilities increase in a couple of areas, but Galena is still down to around a quarter of a mile. We're up that five miles in Rockford, six in Sterling, two in Monroe. So you can see where that contour is a little bit more pronounced. That's where the patchy dense fog is. So kind of hanging out in northern Stevens. County and then across Greene County, Joe Davies as well. You can see that across the board. This is overlooking downtown Rockford, one of our supply core sky track cameras. So you can see the fog if you look back into the distance. Temperatures still falling in some locations, that more being north of here in southern Wisconsin, 39 in Monroe and Janesville. We're warming up though back to the upper 40s here in Rockford, 48, 41 in Poplar Grove. 48 degrees also in Sterling. So today temperatures will climb a little bit more for the most part mid to upper 50s. That's what we should see as clouds do decrease. However, they will be quick to increase back. Mostly cloudy skies anticipated tonight. Temperatures falling around the upper 30s for most with clouds increasing and then a chance for showers. Minimal at best. I don't think we're going to see a good chance of that early, at least to start Easter Sunday off. That will be a different story, though, as we head into the late afternoon, early evening. I think then showers are going to increase in coverage. We will see some pretty spotty and heavy showers with this, a decent chance of rain that's going to move back in. That will hold through the overnight hours. So I do think late afternoon, early evening into the overnight hours, that's the best chance for heavy showers. So if you are planning on heading out then tomorrow evening, might want the rain gear handy. That's not the only chance we're going to see though. It actually is going to be an active pattern the next couple of days. Things eventually quiet down and warm back up though after that. Looking at the long term forecast for Easter Sunday tomorrow though, temperatures climb will be topping out right at that 50 degree mark. Some of us climb 51, 52. Winds are going to steadily increase too. So gusts tomorrow afternoon could reach actually 25, maybe even close to 30 miles per hour. And then the rain chances increase say about 3, 4 p.m onward into the evening and the early nighttime hours. The best chance for severe weather for Easter Sunday and the days to come Monday and Tuesday. That's actually going to be just to our south where temperatures could climb even close to 70 degrees. Effingham, Terre Haute, St. Louis going to push that 70 degree mark while temperatures up here are going to be much cooler, pushing about the 50 degree mark. So the Storm Prediction Center does have just due south of here a marginal risk the better chance for stronger storms, though, that actually they put out a level three an enhanced risk. That's for areas just west of St. Louis. So that's still sitting south of our area could change a couple more times before we get there, though. But the best chance, at least for Easter Sunday, going to sit south of here Monday and Tuesday also days to watch. Beyond that, we look to be a little bit cooler Tuesday and Wednesday midweek, and then things are going to warm right back up. We're going to be pushing the 60 degree mark by next Friday heading into next weekend. I do think overall warmer above normal temperature pattern.